What are we? A tadpole. Right there, either a green frog or a bullfrog. Large tadpole. Very large tadpole. Takes two years to develop. It's a plant eater. Frog tadpoles eat plants. We'll try another scoop. There's a few leaves that have fallen into the wetland, which are great. They that's decompose. Provides, yes, they decompose. I'm not seeing any insects on that one. I'll try another one here. I'll move over a little bit. It's fun when you're walking in a wetland because the turtles that you see at your place, mm -hmm. every once in a while they'll step on the shell of them. Put a little bit of water in there. Now, I'm going to try to not hurt the water scorpion. And this is fun because now I can look down and see it, but the best part is looking at the underside of you you never get to see. Now we caught something else in the net too. This is called a back swimmer. I'm gonna put that in as well. If I oh if unless I lose it, I don't know, I might lose it. There we go, I think I got it in there. That's a back swimmer. It's white, has a little bit of white on it, and it does swing on, swim on its back. So it's like it has big oars for feet, and that, that thing will fly. Now, how do they find these wetlands? They're flying. They're migrating. Many of these aquatic invertebrates will migrate great distances, and they're flying over, and they see the glint of the water, and then they circle down, and that's where they spend the winter. That's where they decide to live. If you've ever been in an airplane and looked down at the ground, the sun, when it's at the right angle, will make every body of water and every metal roof shine like a flashlight. And that's how they find the water. They're flying over, and they see this glint. Then they come in, there's no fish. This is how they survive. That's how many of these aquatic invertebrates take over these wetlands. We did not add any of these to this wetland. They have all come in in the last three years. And this is a good one right here. See, I'm looking at my net a little bit closer. Here is a dragonfly larva, right there. There's a dragonfly larva, another mosquito eater. This one here is afraid I'm going to squish it. That's why it's not moving around. And we'll put that in the water as well. That's a different that kind, is a obviously. very, very new one. That one could be a gray tree frog. That one just hatched, like yesterday. Great tree frog tadpole. There's a dragonfly that's emerging. It found the stem of that leaf, and that was high enough for it to emerge from its case. Wonderful.